stomach is burning my face, like, right now. It... Wow. Sally, you be nice. After the burning incident, James now understands why Jeff was targeted. I believe that Sally, or the perpetrator, if you will, that did all the scratching, uh, had a thing for him that, that, that disliked him immensely. But the activity remains the same. Sally is still here and active. When you enter the domain, if you will, of a ghost, they let you know that you're invading their space. So the family just happened to move in and bump into Sally, literally. Things that go bump in the night, will she bump back? Next on Unexplained Mysteries, Jeff and Pam are finally ready to reveal their true identities. We get our taunts every once in a while. I know what's happening. My wife knows what's happening. That's what's important to me. Then, a shocking revelation about Sally and the ghostly attacks. When actual things started to be lit on fire, I don't think that was a little girl. We had been told by different psychics that there was a, another entity there. She liked to blame things on other people and, and keep us kind of guessing. This clearly says you better reconsider your, your thinking patterns about ghostly activities. And finally, we bring you the ultimate conclusion in our Onyx report on Unexplained Mysteries. Unexplained Mysteries, When Ghosts Attack. Mysterious attacks from an unseen force. A family driven from their home. Pam and Jeff have escaped the horror, and now they are ready to tell you the rest of the story and reveal their true identities. They are Deborah and Tony Pickman. They live in Atchison, Kansas a small town north of Kansas City. Things culminated to such a point where it was getting really dangerous for Tony. And the, the scratches seemed to be getting more severe and more frequent. Just the whole mood in the house changed. One day, walking out of the master bedroom, he was shoved from behind pretty, pretty forcefully, and he all but stopped himself from going over the railing and down the stairs. I flew a good... 10, 12 inches in the air and hit the railing of the stairs, knocked out two rungs of the railing. And it just felt like something, somebody was gonna get hurt if we stayed any longer. And it just felt we have to get out of here before it's too late. While the Pikmins have moved on, they are afraid that Sally may have followed them. They ask Peter James to come to the new house. We had Peter James come in because my husband had had an ordeal. And I don't blame him. He didn't want to. He didn't want to go through that again. Had the spirit of Sally followed the family to their new home? I got an immediate sense that it would be very unlikely that they would have any kind of a haunting activity in, in, in the new house. The new house is clean because I believe that houses are haunted and not people. He said that he was unimpressed, which meant that there was nothing here. <laughs> My husband was very pleased with that. Although Peter thinks that the new house is clean, Tony is still scared. Scared because he knows something. Sally was not responsible for the attacks at the old house. We had been told by different psychics that there was a, another entity there. We first had an idea that there were other entities when the malicious scratches and the, the fires had started in the house, which didn't seem like the pranky little sweet little girl that we had in mind being Sally. This entity had apparently entered the Pickman's old house after they had come in contact with Sally. Each time things would happen and they would escalate and they would say, oh, well, you know, Sally's doing it again. The story had gotten out that, you know, we were having trouble in the house and Sally was the first name mentioned and it just seemed like whenever something did happen, it was fingers were all pointed at Sally. Maybe that was why she was doing it because she wanted the attention and, and not Sally. Who was this new entity and what was her connection to Tony? One psychic suggested that maybe it was a, 
I knew this woman in a past life or a previous life. Deborah has a different theory why this woman was attacking her husband. Almost as a possessive or a jealous kind of a, he's mine, if I can't have him, nobody can. Or has a bone to pick with somebody, and unfortunately it seemed like me. <laughs>